Hi from Doha, Hamad International Airport. We are at a long transit. Um, the layover is more than eight hours, and that qualified us for this uh, transit exclusive Discover Doha, uh, which is a bus tour. Um, it will have a brief stop at Doha Harbor. It will drive past some attractions in Doha. A wonderful way to you know kind of see beauty of Doha, especially just hosted the World Cup 2022. If you are flying and have a layover at Doha's Hamad International Airport, which is consistently rated as the best in the world, and the layover is for 8 hours or more, you can pre-book or purchase at the airport the transit exclusive tours. You should be holding a passport which would allow you to clear immigration. There are two kinds of tour, discover the dunes and inland sea and the discovered Doha. We opted for the city tour discovered Doha comprising of a three hour tour in a luxury bus with an amazing English speaking guide. This was easily the best way to get introduced to this supremely beautiful modern yet conservative city. It costed 95 rial per adult and 67 rial per child. Also, we happened to visit just a week after the FIFA World Cup got over here and the city bore a plethora of signs of hosting this gala quadrennial event. The travel desk where you'll find it is uh, at the Duty Free Plaza South. There is a golden panda and uh, it's right next to that, right behind that. This is where we are waiting for the 1 p.m. tour to start. We have been asked to report a little bit earlier, like an hour earlier because we have to go through the immigration process. They hand you over the voucher as this is needed to clear the immigration. So right now guys, uh, they are guiding us to the place where the immigration takes place. So the person who collected the voucher, who gave us the voucher, uh, she is basically taking us and with me are a group of other set of people who are also interested in this 1pm uh, city tour. So that's where we are heading now to clear the immigration based on the voucher. Our trip was from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. although there are four time slots to choose from. We got our uh, stamp at our passports and we are all set, right? Yeah. We're waiting for the bus to arrive after the immigration. So off we are going. At the bus, the tour guide will give you running commentary of Doha's history and Qatari culture. Then we'll uh, proceed to Katara. Katara is the cultural village of the state of Qatar. It's a very nice project which was opened in 2010. And you can see different institutions connected to art and culture. And uh, last and final stop will be in traditional Souk Wakif. This is our market or bazaar. While you are mesmerized to witness the amazingly beautiful architecture of this modern city. There are three stops that the tour makes where you will be given to get down from the bus and explore. The first stop is the Doha Corniche. The 7 km long Doha waterfront along the Doha Bay. Apart from witnessing the amazing Doha skyline, one could also see the traditional Doha boats. Argentina and France. And if you see, all the countries have a pole flag to them. And what you see right in front of me is the beautiful Doha waterfront. Our next stop was the incredible Katara Cultural Village. This place is a crucible of Qatari culture and serves as a guardian to the heritage and traditions. It has a blue and a golden mosque. Also, there is a beautiful amphitheatre. Right behind me are the minarets where it's basically the pigeon holes and one of these towers can accommodate up to 15,000 pigeons and their droppings are used as fertilizer. So that's a very interesting fact that I came to know. This is the minaret 
Uh, this is the Blue Mosque as they call it. Sure, guys. Andrea from Czech Republic and I'm just explaining about this building. This is a Roman Greek amphitheater. It was built in 2010 and you can see it's made of white marble and this is another uh, part of entrance, the beautiful door. So this is like a Roman Greek style with Islamic uh, features as well. So it's a very beautiful place to come to experience some concerts, cultural speech or any events they have. Standing right in front of the Katara Hall now and this place is epic. The third and the final stop was straight from the stories of the Arabian Nights, the Souk Waqif. Marketplace at the heart of the city and the epitome of Qatar's old way of living. Here you're given almost 40 minutes to explore on your own. You literally time travel once you maneuver through the labyrinth of the bazaar of camel stables, bird market, Come to Falcon Soup, Falcon section, you can, as you can see here. Falcon resembles Qatari pride, dignity and valor. The Falcon Souk handles selling of falcons and is a special area inside the Greater Souk. Buildings date back centuries in a traditional Qatari architecture style. So this is like really from the those Arabian uh, movies that we have seen. The souk sells spices, souvenirs, and has a host of restaurants. Uh, it's truly unbelievable. The vibes are just amazing. You definitely should plan uh, for this. This is just the trailer. The whole movie, if you have to cover, do visit Qatar. It was an amazing bus trip, almost like a trailer to a mega Arabian night movie. A movie which you would crave to watch by planning a complete trip to Qatar. And that precisely why I believe this 3 hour tour is so worth it.